here today to talk about Excel and specifically Power Pivot, a new feature in Excel. First up, what is Power Pivot? Power Pivot uh, for Excel mm -hmm. is an add-in to Excel 2010, which will allow users to pull data from multiple sources, mash them up, then go out to Excel, build pivot tables, and basically share that through SharePoint through the Power Pivot for SharePoint add-in. Now, how is this different to how we used to sort through uh, pivot tables in Excel in previous versions? Well, so the Power Pivot add-in is actually a kind of completely different concept. Mm -hmm. In essence, what the users are doing without knowing it is really building a multi-dimensional cube behind the scenes of Excel that we're embedding into Excel. Okay, now what are some of the things you can do with Power Pivot? You've got a, a demo here to show us? Yeah, let's see. So I am here now in Excel 2010 where the Power Pivot uh, is an add-in here. First thing I want to do is launch data into my separate environment. I have preloaded some data here. In this scenario, I work for a online movie store where the, all these data are coming from my sales data warehouse. Mm -hmm. These happen to come from a SQL Server data warehouse. They can come from any other source that we support, like Oracle, Teradata, DB2, as well as flat files, reports, data feeds. So a uh, great variety of ways of getting data in here. Right. So now I have data from my sales data warehouse. Next thing I want to do, I want to actually analyze how my sales are doing compared to industry trends. Mm -hmm. Now, industry ten trends does not really belong in my data warehouse. They live out on the internet, it's data that I purchase. But a typical scenario for kind of mashing up data. So um, what I have here, I have another spreadsheet out here for some data. Uh, these are actually data from the box office, right. seeing how um, all the different uh, movies in the box office are doing. I can simply now select all of this data, copy it, go back into my Power Pivot environment. Now I have paste enabled. Mm -hmm. I simply paste the data in. I give it a title. I'll call it box office. There you go. I have a preview, so I can make sure I've selected the right data and just go ahead. And this is really very untraditional, like a BI application where you copy-paste data. But it really allows me to make the analysis very specific for the questions I have. So now I have my different data in here. One other interesting thing is here, if I go to my purchase table, you will actually see, if you see down here, I have more than 100 million rows in this wow. environment. Wow, that's huge. That is huge. But it's not just about the volume, it's really how you interact with the data. So have in mind, this is built for Excel power users. So for example, Sort and filtering, 100 million rows. There you go. Wow. 100 million rows sorted instantly. I can filter it, um, slice and dice. The idea here is that as an Excel user, I'm not aware that I'm building a model, so I'm just going to try out stuff. If it doesn't work, I'll try it again. So it has to be a very responsive environment. So with the data in here, next thing I want to do is analyze my data. Right? As an Excel user, the most natural place to do that is in a pivot table. So I'll go out here and I'll insert a new pivot table. So what we have here is basically a window into the model that I built behind the scenes. So here are all the tables from my data warehouse, and here are the copy-pasted table that I copied from my clipboard. So let's go ahead and add some um, fields to the analysis I want to analyze by genre. And I can go in here, I can go to my purchase table, the one with 100 million rows. I can add the purchase count so all the movies that the customers purchased for me. And now this is what I want to compare to the box office sales. And I'll go in and add tickets sold. So this is all just bringing data in, mashing it up. Now you see it doesn't make any sense. All the data are basically identical. As an IT professional, I know it's because I haven't established a relationship between those tables. Right. As an Excel user, I don't really know about that. But what I do get a warning over here saying that a relationship may be needed. Create. I have nothing to lose. So I'm going to try it. So I'm going to click it. Now we go through a two-step process. First, to see if we can identify any relationships. If we can, we'll go ahead and create them. And here it has actually created one for me, which is between the box office sales, my copy paste table, and my media table, which is where my genre is. So pay attention now to the pivot over here as I click OK. Magic happens. The relationship is created, and automatically the data updates on the fly. 
So this is really where it shines through that in fact I'm building a model in the back end without having to know anything about business intelligence and building models. Sure. Now, um, the performance that we're seeing here sorting through 100 million rows, do you have, is this a really, really powerful laptop? What kind of machine are you using? Because I think people would say, oh, well, you're obviously on a really high powered PC yeah. to get that kind of performance. Is that the case? No, it's not the case. Actually, this is on my traditional um, laptop that I use for Excel, Outlook, whatever. Uh, it's a um, pretty simple machine actually. What allows that kind of work is the compression rate. We have an in-memory database in the back end of this which allows us for a tremendous compression rate. So even the file, as I save this file now, all this data is actually saved as part of the Excel file, but it has a tremendous compression, meaning that the file is not at all um, all that, that big. So that is what enables me to work with this vast majority of data in a very intuitive way. Okay, now how do I get my hands on Power Pivot? Is it part of Excel 2010 or is it an additional uh, download or install? And Power Pivot for Excel is um, actually shipped as part of the SQL Server um, 2008 R2 release. Mm -hmm. The add-in that I'm showing you is a add-in that is free of charge, so it's downloadable. So if you have Excel 2010, you can go to powerpivot.com and download this add-in. Now, this is actually only one part of the product. The next part is, as I build out my analysis here, I could make it look pretty um, and make it look like more like an application and add multiple uh, pieces of analysis to it. I can go out here and save. I can save to SharePoint, where analysis services will run as a service on the back end. And now, when I go to that end of it, you would see up here, I've uploaded one, kind of pre-made a little bit to make it look uh, nicer. What happens as soon as you're up here on this side, this solution becomes visible to IT. Now IT can take over the management, they can see who are the users using it, how many different users are using it, what are the query times, um, and also they can see what kind of data sources have actually been used to, to build this model. And this is when IT can back it up, make sure it's secure, etc. And for this, you would need the license for SQL Server uh, 2008 R2. All right, so what are some of the ways we can display all these you know, 100 million rows of data? Well, first thing I will do, I will enrich this view a little bit to make it look more like a solution. Let me uh, add some slices. Okay. Slices are basically um, visual filters. That is a native, native feature um, of Excel. So I'll go in here and find, let's say, media. I can add uh, the production company mm -hmm. who is producing the movies would make sense and I can go in and add some dates as well. So let me just go in here, pick a month name for example and the year of the month. There you go. So obviously as an Excel user now I can go in and select what I want to slice by and you can see that the pivot table automatically obviously updates on the fly. Now next thing I want to do, this is kind of the standard color so I would like to just make this uh, look a little bit nicer. Uh, so let me just update the look and feel of the slices a little bit. And this is all standard Excel features that is available of, um, as part of Excel 2010. I can make the pivot uh, match a little bit. There you go. I can obviously go in, um, insert a pie chart just to kind of animate it a little bit. Drag that down there. And there you go. Last thing I want to do is um, just go ahead and remove the grid lines. So as you can see, I start working through this. It looks more and more like an application. Sure. I can obviously add more pivot tables to each of the sheets, depending on what it is that the users of this solution would like to see. Right. But um, now I feel I'm, this is good enough. I'll go ahead. I can go to File. Um, save and Send. And now I can publish this one to SharePoint. Okay. When I publish to SharePoint, this is published to what we call the Power Pivot Gallery, which is basically a gallery that contains all the different solutions from my different users. This is where, when I upload it, other users get access to my solutions. They can benefit from them. But this is also when IT can actually gain insight to the pure existence of these solutions. They can see which solutions have been built, what data um, are they based off, who are using it, how long are the queries running, etc. Right. And uh, do you have an example of the Power Pivot uh, being displayed on SharePoint? Sure. I have. Just so let's go in and have a look. Oh, it's, it's very similar. It's actually completely um, identical. If I go out here, you can see um, how the gallery looks like. Where It's where I can browse all the different solutions that have been 
published uh, to my SharePoint server. Eventually. There you go. You can see I have a sheet representing each a page in the workbook. And I can obviously just hover over it. This is just to recognize the different piece of analysis. And I can launch it from here. And this is where everything worked natively or thin with Excel services. Great. So uh, how do I get my hands on Power Pivot? Is it already built into Excel 2010? Power Pivot for Excel is a add-in. It mm -hmm. ships as part of SQL Server 2008 R2. Um, the add-in that I've shown you in Excel is a free of charge download. Oh, that's you great. You can um, go and download from powerpivot.com. Powerpivot.com. Um, yeah, so if you have Excel 2010, you can go out and download that. Uh, for the back end here, for the Excel services part and the Power Pivot for SharePoint, this is where you need um, SQL Server 2008 R2. Great. Well, we, uh, we had some questions submitted from the Channel 9 uh, uh, community and Josh Ross has three questions which I thought we might end the uh, the video with. Uh, his first question is are there any advantages to querying against R2 versus 2008 RTM? So it depends what he means by querying. So if you um, if you just mean querying the back end like running your SQL queries there's no difference. Um, there's some differences. We support uh, data feeds from reporting services, mm -hmm. for example. And if you upgrade to um, R2, you will be able to feed all your re reporting services reports as data feed for sources into Power Pivot. So okay. that is kind of the main difference as a source for 2008. OK. Uh, the next question, is it also possible to get multiple Power Pivots into a single workbook? Um, so again, that depends what you mean by multiple Power Pivots. Once I've built this model and it's uploaded to SharePoint, I can connect to that as a source from another Excel sheet. Oh, wow. If I do that, I can connect to multiple workbooks and pull data from there. That is one way of doing it. If you're thinking that the power pivots are like, this is a power pivot, the sheets, yeah, I can build all the pieces of analysis within each sheet that I, that I would like to. OK, great. And the third question is, where, uh, where can people go for more information on DAX, D-A-X? So DAX is the, our uh, data analytical expression language, mm -hmm. which is a language that you can use to enrich your model, much like the formula language of Excel. It's actually based off that to give the same user experience. Um, if you go to Microsoft.com and you can search for um, Power Pivot for Excel DAX samples, mm -hmm. you will get to a download page where you can download samples, see a white paper, etc., which will um, get you jump started on DAX. Fantastic. And just confirming that uh, Power Pivot for Excel is for 2010. Oh, Excel 2010, is that correct? Yes, it's for Excel 2010. That's great. All right, Julie, thanks for your time. Uh, stay tuned for more information on Office products on Channel 9. <laughs>